Hey guys, welcome. Today we're looking at the Gerber Dime. I've had this multi-tool for around a year now, so enough time to sort of get to know it. Just thought I'd talk about some of the features on it, give you guys an idea if you're thinking about purchasing it. Uh, this tends to live on my car keys, which I attach through this little keyring loop onto a Night Eyes Micro S Beaner, which also has a little lock, and then this clips onto another larger keyring with my other keys. Uh, including my car key and a little Rover Yvonne A1 torch. Uh, so it has that, and then it's also got this uh, cap lifter or bottle opener. It's quite wide, so I find this is really nice for pry and open a bottle. Much nicer than some on other multi-tools I've had, for sure. Uh, one of the best features. Uh, and then over just next to the bottle opener, you also have these, which sometimes get forgotten about in these videos. It's very easy to forget about. Uh, these little tweezers, and they go into a fine point. They're good quality, solid uh, tweezers. Another thing I use these for, it can be pretty hard to get your nails in here, especially if it's like cold and stuff and your hands are cold. Uh, I can do it in here, but sometimes... You know, or if you've got gloves on, it can be a bit of a difficult task. So pulling this out, you can use the sort of cat's paw end and reach into the nail nick, apply a bit of pressure, and it helps you pull them out. So a handy little uh, hack there. Uh, all of the main tools, apart from the actual pliers, are accessible from the outside, which is quite handy. We have this. This is a box opener. You can slice through sellotape and any kind of tape really. Um, cut through cardboard. Also has the main sheep's foot blade. Uh, it's fairly sharp, but I've sort of dulled it over time. I'm actually just about to sharpen this. Uh, but I can quickly cut through a bit of cardboard. I do have to apply a bit of pressure to uh, to cut through at the minute because it is a little bit dull. Uh, I've used this actually mostly for sort of box. I tend not to use the box opener. I'll just use this blade. That might be good. Uh, might be bad, but uh, you know, it's just what I use. Uh, so yeah, little sheep's foot blade. It's okay. Uh, there's a bit of flex there, but you know, this isn't going to be used for any super heavy duty tasks. If it is. Uh, you know, it's probably not going to be very good for it. Uh, and that applies for a lot of the tools on this multi-tool. Uh, they're for very lightweight tasks. So we have those. Then we have the scissors. These aren't up to Victorinox standards, uh, but they are okay. Uh, if you snip straight in, I do find the end kind of kicks out up here. So if you're wanting a clean cut, I recommend just cutting like right to the end. But then again, you also kind of knock into this bit here. So not the best, but uh, you know, they will cut. If you're not looking to do too precious or need to cut, then it's fine. That's paper. Bit of cardboard. It'll go through. Again, not very clean, kind of pushes stuff, pushes it away as it goes through. Um, but they're okay. Got some lightweight plastic here, which I use to test some scissors. Again, it'll cut through. Sort of no problem, but this is fairly flimsy plastic. Uh, if you're doing heavier duty plastics, then uh, they might struggle a bit. Cordage. Got some lightweight cord here. No problem with this. As you can see. But some 550 power cord, it might struggle, I reckon. Yeah, it, it is getting through it with several cuts. Again, not very neat. It will get through, but again, if you're gonna be cutting 550 power cord, I'd most likely use the uh, sheep's foot blade over this, personally. Um, to be honest, I'd probably use a totally different tool. Um, 
But yeah, again, light duty tasks. Nice pair of scissors, really. You know, they're not Victorinox ones, but they're okay. Then over this side, we have the slotted or flathead screwdriver, whatever you want to call it. I use this mostly for prying. It's, um, it's handy. Obviously, you don't have the length like a screwdriver, uh, but if you're doing something close by, scraping or whatever, uh, I've used this a fair bit. Um, one of the most used tools on here for me, probably. Uh, so yeah, pretty neat. Now this has a little flat head. Uh, sorry, it's flat, but it's uh, like a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, it could also be a smaller scraper or pry. It also has these uh, files on it. This one you can kind of use, but you don't have the length for, you know, like a long, consistent, um, you know, rubbing area, uh, which is a little bit annoying. This one on the back is a joke because you kind of got the bottle opener and all this stuff in the way. You just can't really get in there. It's pointless. So I've never used that. Uh, but the screwdriver is handy. Again, doesn't have the length like most screwdrivers, but this is, is for, you know, just having for convenience. Uh, and I think that just about does it. Yeah. Uh, for the outside, sorry. Going into it. Oh, I'm trying to remember which way around it goes. Then we have the main pliers. These are spring-loaded. Really good quality for, again, light-duty tasks. I have used them a fair bit in the past. Uh, let me just grab a paper clip. Over here. Uh, so the other day I had a blockage in a hoover vent and I needed to fashion a little hook that I could pull um, some lint out with and some like old, you know, furball kind of stuff. Uh, so I used this and I just fashioned a little hook at this end, which is, uh, you know, it's up to the task of, you know, something like that. Uh, and the fact that they're really small and precise means that you can get a nice bit of control over the end. Uh, and then this worked perfectly with my hoover. Got everything out. Uh, so that was pretty neat. Uh, as for the wire cutters, it doesn't actually have wire strippers on here. Um, you may be able to use, like, this open area for a bit of, like, wire stripping, maybe... Um, but there's no like dedicated um, wire strippers. But the wire cutters. As you can see. Takes a tiny bit of force but it'll do it. So yeah. There you go. Um, these come down to a fine point, so they are pretty handy. Also, is like a kind of like your tweezers, but more of a you know a larger grabbing thing. But because they're like tight together at the end, uh, hopefully you can see that uh, they meet up nicely at the end. So they are great for grabbing small stuff. Uh, but again. These have a fair bit of play, like I wouldn't put them under ridiculous strain. They're fine for, again, small jobs. Uh, that's what this is there for, you know, better than not having something. Um, but yeah, Gerber Dime. If you're considering it, I would recommend it. Uh, I know Leatherman have some smaller equivalents that probably are better, but for the price, uh, this is between £25 and £30 on Amazon currently and uh, the dollar is sort of even with the pound at the minute so as it stands I imagine in, in the states you can get this for 25 to 30 dollars as well they do them in a variety of colors this is the all black obviously they also have one that has uh, like a lime green on one side and chrome and they also have a red uh, one with a red side I believe the other side's chrome as well and all the tools are chrome and they also have a 
sort of pinky purpley one which I picked up for my partner um, that has black tools but sort of a purpley pink casing they're a little bit harder to get hold of I think I paid a bit more I think it was about 35 pounds um, but I got that for her for Christmas and she loves it um, but yeah on the whole really great little multi-tool really again handy to have on my car keys I'd usually carry something like my skeletal CX or Leatherman Wave or something if I wanted something a bit more substantial but to have a multi-tool you know on my car keys in my pocket if I've driven somewhere uh, this thing you know gets a lot done uh, one thing I will say is though this has been well used it doesn't take long before it starts to sort of patina like this the paint comes off fairly easily, um, which I kind of like. You know, it kind of get gives it some character fairly quickly. How this will be in ten years from now, uh, who knows? <laughs> it might be completely stripped of a lot of the black, black paint. But um, yeah, really neat little thing aesthetically. I think it just looks really nice, as well. Uh, so yeah, Gerber dime. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Consider hitting the bell icon to be notified when more videos go up. I also have an Instagram account. Feel free to give us a follow over there if you wish. Uh, yeah, let us know below if you own this, what your thoughts are on it, or if you wish to get it. Um, yeah, please just comment below. It'd be cool to hear from you. Thanks again for watching. Take care.